Are Choras really Tamar or are they Telugu? This controversy was created by people who don't know anything about the history of Choras. However, it is true that some of the Choras were Telugu. Now, the first ever Tamil Telugu Chora king was the most powerful. Hello everyone, I'm Ungar Anman Hemant. Today we are going to look at the first ever Tamil Telugu Chora King, Kulotunga Chora. But before we get there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. The union of the Tamil Chora Kingdom and the Telugu Eastern Chalukya Kingdom happened in the 11th century AD with Kulotunga Chora becoming the king. Chora blood ran in his veins as his mother and paternal grandmother were from the Chora dynasty. With his powerful rule that spanned 52 long years, he matched his greatest Chora ancestors. Intermarriages between the Chora kingdom and the Eastern Chalukya kingdom started with Rajaraja Chora's daughter Kundavai getting married to the Eastern Chalukya king Vimaladitya. Later, Rajendra Chora's daughter Ammangai Devi was married to the Eastern Chalukya king Rajaraja Narendra. They had a son called Rajendra Chalukya who later came to be known as Kulotunga Chora. Kulotunga Chora's ascension to the throne came after an interesting turn of events. In the Eastern Chalukya kingdom, Rajaraja Narendra, the founder of today's Rajamundri died. Though his son Kulotunga was the rightful successor to the throne, he could not become the king. Instead, Vijayaditya, the paternal uncle of Kulotunga, claimed the throne. In the meantime, in the Chora kingdom down south, after being ruled by the most powerful Rajendra Chora and then by his three sons, the new king Adi Rajendra started ruling. After a period of religious revolt in the Chora kingdom, the new king died in a local uprising by the Vaishnavites. Upon his death, a period of power vacuum and chaos prevailed in the Chora kingdom. Kulotunga, the eastern Chalukya prince, came to the rescue. He marched southwards to the Chora capital and took the throne as the new Chora king. So Rajendra Chalukya of today's Andhra Pradesh became Kulotunga Chora, the shiny new Chora emperor. Being Rajendra Chora's maternal grandson, he had the fire in him, but he kept it in control. For the Western Chalukya kingdom, one of the main rivals were the Choras. The other big rival were the Eastern Chalukyas. Kulotunga Chora uniting the Eastern Chalukya and Chora kingdoms meant that they now have a much larger rival to handle. Fearing a danger in future, Vikramaditya VI from the Western Chalukya Kingdom invaded the Choras as a preemptive tactic. After an intense war, Vikramaditya was defeated by Kulotunga and was chased back to his country, along with a few of his territories captured. Many years before Kulotunga Chora's period, Rajaraja Chora had captured the northern portion of Sri Lanka. And later, his son Rajendra Chora captured the whole island of Sri Lanka. However, in the later years, the Sri Lankan province was gradually lost to Sinhala king Vijayabahu, who declared himself as the ruler of the whole island. However, Kulotunga was least bothered about recapturing Sri Lanka and he instead focused on maintaining the core of the Chora country. Though the Pandyas were under the Chora rule, they did not accept the overlordship of the Choras entirely, and they were a constant trouble for the Choras. When they tried becoming fully independent again, Kulotunga decided to put an end to it. He dispatched his massive army of elephants, horses and soldiers and defeated the five Pandyas who revolted against him. He destroyed the forest where they were hiding and captured the pearl fisheries, the 
Kodigai Mountain and Kanyakumari and installed pillars of victory everywhere in the Pandya country. Later, similar to the Pandyas, the Chera kings rebelled against the Chora overlordship. Kulotunga Chora sent his commander Naralogavira Karlingarayan and defeated these kings and conquered Kollam, Kandalur Sale and Virinjam and brought them under the Chora rule again. Even after successful conquests, Kulotunga made sure that he only collected tribute from them and did not interfere with the internal administration of the territories he conquered. The Kalinga War was one of the most famous wars ever fought by the Choras. And that is because the sheer scale of this war was immense. During Kulotunga's rule, Kalinga, which is today's Orissa, was ruled by the Eastern Ganga dynasty. Kulotunga invaded Kalinga twice. The second expedition was led by his commander, Karunakara Tondaiman, who defeated the Kalinga ruler, Anantavarman Chodaganga, in a fierce battle. Parani is a type of poetry that is sung on war heroes who defeated a thousand elephants. The Tamil poet Jayam Kondar wrote the most famous Kalingattu Parani, which vividly describes this war. Trade relations established during Rajendra Chora's period were maintained well by Kulotunga. He had active trade with China and the other countries in Southeast Asia. Even prior to becoming a Chora king, on behalf of Veera Rajendra, he led a naval expedition to Kadaram in today's Malaysia to maintain Chora influence. Back in the days, a king's treasury was based on three things, land tax, customs, and conquest. In the Chora country, Kulotunga Chora abolished customs on goods and hence was hailed as the Sungam Tavirtha Choran. He had many wives including Madurantaki, Tyagavalli and Eresai Vallabi. His sons were Rajaraja Choda Ganga, Veera Chora and Vikrama Chora. He also had daughters Sutta Malli and Ammangai Alwar. Compared to the extensive warfare undertaken by the previous Chora kings, Kulotunga Chora avoided unnecessary wars. And during his long rule, he truly regarded the well-being of his people. Kulotunga Chora will be remembered forever for his long rule of power, peace and security in the Chora country. Chakravarti Kulotunga Chora Deva Thank you.